And now, on with the show. On with the Motherfuckers. It's another episode of Scratching the Surface with me, Sean Nolan, the person that you probably don't like listening to, and that's cool, so I don't give a shit, but you know, today I'm going to do something, uh, I've done it, I don't know, I think I've done it twice now, but it was kind of the idea from the beginning. And then I just started ranting on shit that I find funny. But I felt like doing it today. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll through Fox News real quick. And... All right, let's see. Tech exec abducted from home. Dead body found hours later. Okay. Jesus. He's probably hacking into some bitch's porn fucking history or some shit. <laughs> Oh, emotions high. Hugs, protests after Dallas ex-cop gets 10 years for murdering neighbor. (laughs) Dude, what about... Why are there hugs? What? Dude, see, this shit's just fucking confusing, bro. It starts by saying hugs, comma, protests after Dallas ex... What? What do the hugs have to do with it? The dude murdered someone. Why are you hugging? <laughs> oh, see, this is just like... Dude, she's too heavy, man. I gotta find some stuff that's not so heavy. Oh, here we go. Company shames job applicant for Instagram bikini photo. Faces swift backlash. <laughs> All right, you probably don't want to work for that company, dude, because guess what? Dude, any company that is going to fire you, or sorry, sorry, backlash, but she company shames the job applicant for her bikini photos? Well, first off, didn't say her, so I don't know. It could be a dude wearing the bikini. I'm not sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume... Uh, that it's a chick wearing the bikini. Anyways, the company is shaming the job applicant because she has pictures of herself in a bikini. Fuck this world, dude. <laughs> Bro, we're all born naked. You can't show a little bit of it. Like, even in a bikini, dude, you're not showing cooch and you're not showing nipples. You're not even showing areolas, dude. You're not even showing a little pubic cares, okay? So fuck off, company. Do you know what? Whoever woman, you know, whoever you are, you don't want to work for that fucking company. That's stupid shit. That's so fucking stupid, dude. You can't wear a bikini. Oh, here we go. (laughs) Jenny McCarthy says she and husband, Donnie Wahlberg, do it in airport bathrooms. Woo! (laughs) <laughs> yeah, dude. That's just two people living right there, man. Oh, I would love to fuck on an airplane, dude. I wouldn't masturbate on an airplane because, like, like, that's just stupid. And also, you ever been in an airport bathroom? An airplane bathroom? Oh, they did say airport. Oh, that's not as fun. See, I read airplane in my head. Airport bathroom, I guess, but like, there's a lot of people in airport bathrooms. God damn. Mark Wahlberg ain't doing that. Maki Mike's not doing that. Maybe Donnie. Not as many people notice Donnie. You got Maki Mike walking into a fucking airport bathroom, dog. You start a riot. You start a riot, Maki Mike. Come swagging in, dude. That dude level a block. <laughs> uh. Dude, like, people actually read this shit. Like, whoever... All right, I'm going to read this next title of the article. And anyone who actually clicked on this article is a fucking moron. And that's it. Wendy Williams throws shade at her ex-husband's alleged mistress. Who gives a fuck? (laughs) Seriously. 
seriously, dude. Who gives a fuck? How the fuck is that news, dude? I'd rather read about fucking murders. And I don't like that shit. Dude, a San Diego backyard shed for rent. 1050 a month. Boy, that motherfucker better be like Jimmy Neutron's fucking lab where you walk into a shed and then all of a sudden, boom, Vox, open the fucking floor, boom, and you just drop into a tunnel, dude, and then it's like a fucking genius laboratory. That's what that shed better be for a thou- over a grand a month for a shed in someone's backyard, dude. If it's not like Jimmy Neutron's fucking shed or that new one from the Spider-Verse Spider-Man where fucking, I almost said Padme. (laughs) Fucking Padme, I'm a dollar. No, this is fucking Star Wars, dude. When fucking Aunt May brings all the fucking Spider-Mans and woman because there's a Spider-Gwen, chick, whatever, brings them all to the shed, dude. And it's an elevator and then like this lair. That's what it better be for a grand, dude? <sighs> Fuck, better at least be a dog in there or some shit. Oh, geez. Texas Theater issues rare warning to kids about Joker movie. Dude. Wait, a rare warning? The fuck does that mean? Dude, and of course it's Texas. Because Texas is worried because they got a shit ton of guns. But, like, why? Dude, if... Let's put it this way, man. If a, if watching the Joker makes somebody go commit murder or any crime, they were going to do it anyway. They were going to do it anyway, dude. You watch a fucking clown. <laughs> Guy go crazy, fucking makeup and shit. A clown. You watch him kill people, and that makes you want to kill people, dude? You were already going to kill people. It's pretty fucking simple. Like, I don't... I love crazy movies like that, dude. They don't influence my life. (laughs) Dude, if they influence you like that, you're fucking crazy. (laughs) It's so stupid, dude. That's why I hate this shit, man. Like, that motherfucker was already gonna kill people. If he fucking watches a movie and then kills people. Like, he was already thinking about it, dude. Oh. (laughs) Okay, I'm actually... (laughs) I'm gonna click this one. Cops pull over car with bizarre bubbly tire. (laughs) Dude. Yo, this is straight up a fucking car tire that looks like there's bubbles. Like big fucking balls lodged into it. What the fuck? Oh my god, this just ruined it for me. It Traffic cops are baffled when they pull over a car with a front tire covered in alien-like bubbles. And then there's a douchebag fucking cop with typical fucking, I got cool slickied hair and a beard. And he's all tatted up, and he's sitting there like this, next to the tire. Did you get Did you get us both in the frame? Dude, take it again. Did you get the alien bubbles? Did you get the alien bubbles in the frame? Bro, how's my beard looking? Did it look like... Oh, no, hold on. Hey, dude, fuck you, bro. It's a fucking tire with bubbles. Do they say what the fuck it was, though? Was tweeted pictures of bubbly tile. Um, uh... All right, dude. What <laughs> fucking year is it when people are still using the word whilst? Whilst? Whilst on patrol. Wow, dude. Why all on patrol? Whilst? Whilst, <laughs> dude, you fucking Shakespeare, dude. <laughs> Whilst I was strolling the block, 
<laughs> Wows, to do to fuck whoever wrote this. Uh, who wrote this fucking article? Jack Evans. Fuck you, Jack Evans. You don't use the word fucking whilst. Jesus Christ, this isn't fucking 1730. Fuck, dude. Whilst. Whilst I was having sex with my mistress. <laughs> my stupid kid walked in the room. Oh, Jesus. When it was safe to do so, road new tire now fitted. Okay, but they don't even say what the fuck happened. They don't even say, good spot, officer. Team PPO Derby. Team PPO Derby tweeted, good spot, officer. Sick, dude. But, like, what the fuck? Did, did, you don't even, you didn't even tell me what happened to the fucking tire. You just show me a fuck alien-like tire. Whilst he was driving, we noticed the alien-like tire. <laughs> Oh, fuck you, Jack Evans, dude. Fucking whilst. Jesus Christ. Ugh. I'm gonna wrap this one up. I made it quick. Just a quick fucking... That's Fox News for you. Brought to you by Sean Nolan. Whilst I was sitting here, I thought I'd read through the fucking... So what did we learn today, guys? Well, we learned... We learned that Donnie Wahlberg likes to fuck in airport bathrooms because he's a baller. And he's not as famous as Mackie Mack, so he can get away with it. And people aren't fucking filming him while he's fucking his girl fucking doggy style in the fucking style. Who well, fucking, he's trying to catch his plane fucking going from LAX to fucking New York. Or maybe Boston. He wants to fucking bust nuts, dudes. He wants to bust a nut before he gets on a plane. This is what he fucking does. He's Donnie Warburg. I'm going to go fucking open up a new burger joint, but I'm first I'm going to fuck my girl in the fucking bathroom. I ain't fucking Maggy Mock, dude. Nobody fucking with me. I do whatever the fuck I want. The fuck out of here. How great is a Boston accent when they say fuck? The fuck? The fuck you doing? It's got like three A's. The fuck? <laughs> oh, jeez. So we learned Donnie Warburg likes to fuck... In airports. And what did we learn? The fuck else did we learn? Oh, bubbly tires. We don't know what causes them, but they happen. And dudes with the name Jack Evans are still living in the 1400s with Shakespeare. And they say the word whilst. And if you say the word whilst, it's because you think you're a fucking journalist. Or <laughs> like some fucking, you know, some fucking prolific writer but really just stuck in an old word dude jesus it's like when people think they're fucking cultured and they can't be i'm not racist i have black friends idiot it's the same thing dude like i'm smart i'm a journalist i use old words (laughs) oh man dude so yeah, we learned that. We, I don't know. I don't even remember. Because it's, it's none of it's important. How about that? And we didn't learn shit. So don't listen to the news. That's what I had to fucking say today. Anyway, guys, this was fun. <laughs> I had fun. Um, it's another episode of Scratch and Scratch. I think this was number 15. Number 15. We climbing. Uh, this ain't no fucking free solo Alex Honnold shit. I think that's his name. But we climbing, dude. Maybe I'm using ropes. Maybe I'm fucking... I, maybe I got a couple ropes, dude. All right? Maybe I'm not climbing solo or free or free solo, solo free. Maybe I got some ropes tied around my waist. Maybe I'm fucking clipping in halfway up the rock. What are you going to do? I'm still climbing. Still climbing. So that's it. I'm going to leave you with that. Still climbing, motherfuckers. This is Sean Nolan. Scratching the surface. I'm out.